Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and in today's video I'm going to be continuing with the Matplotlib tutorial series for beginners by showing you how you can download and install Matplotlib on your computer or in your PyCharm project. So, as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So I am on my desktop here. The first way that you can download Matplotlib is by going to your terminal. So we're going to open up the terminal, and this is what my terminal looks like. So if you have Python already on your laptop and, and everything's all set up, then all you're going to type in is pip3 install matplotlib. Now, if that doesn't work, just write pip uh, and see if that works. So, perfect. What this has told me is it's installed it. I obviously, I obviously already have it on my computer. This is my old laptop that I'm using today because uh, my new one is currently updating. So, this is a couple of old settings on here. So, what it says here is the requirement is already satisfied. And that just means that it's downloaded and it's already in there so I can start using it. So if you want to do it through the terminal and this hasn't worked for you and if you omit the three it also hasn't worked for you there are documents online that give you certain commands that you can write in here and press enter but if you don't know how that works I'm going to show you how to do it in PyCharm because this is probably an easier way especially for beginners so don't worry if watching this is making you feel a little bit scared because you don't know what a terminal is and you're not you know you're not sure what's going on don't worry what i'm going to show you is how you can do it through pycharm i heavily recommend using pycharm because it's just so easy to import specific modules and also a lot of my coding videos online use pycharm and i think it's a very nice ide and integrated development environment for beginners so we're going to cross off terminal so my laptop already has matplotlib installed on it i've just done it through pip install however now this is where my matplotlib tutorial series is, is gonna begin that's why this is currently on my screen what you can do the alternative ways you can have pycharm here and all you're going to do is you're going to go into pycharm you're going to go to preferences this is probably similar to settings in windows and all you're going to do is you'll have this drop down menu you're going to go to the project you're in so i'm in my code of the future project you're going to go to python interpreter you're going to click this plus arrow here and all you're going to do is you're going to type in matplotlib now i can install a new version of this plotting package so i can click install package i'm currently using my older laptop which i haven't updated in quite a while that's why a few of the settings are a little bit older but it is exactly the same thing so we're just going to install the package and show you what will happen once you've installed it it will just do the little this button up here and then it will say package matplotlib installed successfully perfect you just cross off this you click OK and notice it's pa package matplotlib installed successfully. These are all the packages that you can use in Python and these are a lot of them that I use as part of my internship. So so you just click OK and there you go. Matplotlib is, is all done. Essentially what would happen is if you started coding in, in PyCharm and you wrote this import here, you wrote you know matplotlib or just simply import matplotlib, it would come up with a red line under here and it would say it doesn't recognize this module uh, it's similar if i was to use a different library in python i didn't have it installed so it's just worth remembering if it does come up with a little red line underneath here it just means it's not installed uh, or you spelt it wrong um so the way you overcome that is just by going into the settings and importing it into the project interpreter uh, and that is probably the easiest way of doing it when i was learning how to code as a beginner that's the way that I did it every single time. It just means that it's there already there in this specific project. What's worth mentioning is if you were to create a new project, so my project here is Code of the Future, if you were to create a new project, it's not guaranteed to be in that new project. So the whole idea about what I've just shown you then, the latter one, the second option, is that it's not installed for every single project, whereas the pip install, it will be. So that's just something that's worth remembering. So this is how you install matplotlib through PyCharm and also through pip install. As I said, if you want to do it through pip install and it hasn't worked for you, there are documents online that tell you exactly what you need to write depending on your operating system. I appreciate, I am on a Mac, so I just wanted to make sure that was clear for any of you that aren't on Macs. So that has been the video today. I've shown you how to install matplotlib onto your computer. If you enjoyed it, then please like, subscribe and comment. And if you want to support this channel even further, then hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button and check out the donation page in my description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.